And from the Vermont State House now, the Towing Association is speaking out against a towing bill of rights being considered under the Golden Dome. Local 22's Spencer Collin reports. I mean, we would just literally give it up. Mike Coleman and his wife own and operate Hillside Auto Sales in service in Springfield. We couldn't afford to do towing for what they're asking us to do it for. The president of Vermont's Towing Association is concerned about a proposal being considered by the House Committee on Transportation. It's being called the Towing Bill of Rights. Proponents accuse tow companies of price gouging. The proposal would put a $40 cap on involuntary tows, a storage fee limit of 12 bucks a day, and would require tow truck operators to leave the car behind if its owner returns before it's hauled away. We don't want it to be highway robbery. In Vermont, towing companies can also declare your car abandoned after a certain period of time, retrieve the vehicle's title from the Department of Motor Vehicles, and then can sell it. You know, I don't know why it's set up this way, but we need to change it. According to DMV records obtained by Barbara Rachelson, the bill's sponsor, nearly 300 people in Chinon County lost their cars this way in 2017. Either voluntarily, quasi-voluntarily because they can't afford it, or because they didn't get the notice. Vermont State Police contracts several tow companies across the state and uses them on a rotating basis. Most of their tows are involuntary. Lieutenant Thomas Moser says something needs to change, but there should be an exemption for law enforcement. Many of the companies we currently deal with would be unwilling to render service if it wasn't cost effective for them. There are also concerns when it comes to the contents left inside a car. Coleman says certain items, including medication, are always made available and that he will always work with the vehicle's owner. If I've towed a car on a Friday or Saturday night and we're not open until Monday, I don't charge storage those two days. I give the customer a fighting chance. Spencer Conlon, the Local 22 News, Montpelier. Now, the Transportation Committee is scheduled to hear more testimony in the coming days. This is definitely a story that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Absolutely.